Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kevin Tech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to go over a resume. So I went to LinkedIn. Um, if you guys are not familiar with LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a, a, a website or a page for basically, or you can download it as an app as well, but basically it helps you get jobs and stuff like that. So I went on LinkedIn and I found a resume that everyone's using on LinkedIn and everyone's using it for job recruiters. And it's one of those like resumes that it's like a, it, it's like a, a resume that catches everyone's eye. So if you're trying to get a job in IT, this is a resume that really catches everyone's eye. If you're applying for a job with, with um, recruiters, if you're applying for a job for a company, if you're applying for a job on LinkedIn or any of these other websites, then I recommend using this resume. I'm gonna go over the resume, we're gonna look at it together. And then at the end of the video, um, obviously, or when the video is over, I'll link the, the resume below my description and you could use it as a sample resume. Why am I going over this? I'm going over this is because I have a playlist of resumes that I usually go over and I want to add this to my playlist. So then everyone, if there, and anyone ever needs help with a resume, if anyone ever needs a, a, a resume or something that they could use as a resource, they could just go to my playlist and click on this video and watch it and then see what they see the resume and copy it and make it as, as their own, if that makes sense. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, do CompTIA videos, I talk about how to do desktop support, tech support. Uh, I go live here and there. I do hands-on training as well. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live, all right? So let's get right into this. Let me share my screen with you and let's get into it, all right? So it should be a short video today. So um, let me share my screen with you like I always do. So we're going to go into screen one. All right. So this resume, I looked at it and I immediately fell in love with this resume, by the way. This is not like a crappy resume. It's a really solid resume. So obviously you have your name on it. You have your address. Um, you have where you're from and you have your email address and you have your phone number. So obviously we will put a phone number because, you know, they need to call you. If they, if they like your resume, how are they going to call you? They either call you or email you. So you want to put your email and your phone number. Then you put your address because they want to know exactly where you live because obviously if the job is too far away, they're not going to, get, they're not going to give you that job. It doesn't make any sense for you, for you to go uh, for a job that's based in New York and you're going to Dallas. You know, it doesn't make any sense. So you want to put your address, your name, and your email address and your phone number. And um, down here on the bottom, you know what's funny is that this resume looks similar to my old resume that I got over before in, another, in my other video, but it looks similar. And here they put education first. So they have your university, the school that they went to, and then relevant courses. So relevant coursework, the courses they did in, while, while they were in school, they have your honors, awards, and, and, and uh, sponsorships. So and they have their GPA right there, their, their month and year. And then underneath that, there is professional experience. These are all the jobs that they uh, have worked. Uh, any job you would work, you put it over here, obviously. So the ABC company, the month and year, month to present on the right hand side. Let me expand this a little more so you can see it. Um, they have the other company. Obviously, you put the state, the, the, the city, the state, the position. You put what you did in that company. You have the month, the year, again, month and year. And then underneath all this, they have something called leadership and affiliation. And it says, and uh, these are like, like nonprofit organizations. If you've done any volunteer work, or internships, or any of those things, I recommend adding it right over here. So if you've done any, any type of work that's nonprofit, or you're affiliated with some sort of company or club or something, then you would add it down here, that makes sense. Then all the way in the bottom is skills and interests. So um, skills and interests, they have the language, they have the computer, and they have interests. So obviously under skills and interests, you would put the skills you know in IT. So you wouldn't just, you wouldn't just See how this person has language? So they put like language one, language two. They have, so they'll put, you'll put like, like if you know Spanish, obviously you speak English, you don't, don't put that there. You'll put like French or, or, or Spanish or, or Japanese or Italian or whatever, you know, what, what have you. You put it in there. If you, if you speak another language, add it right over here. And then for, for, for computer, um, you see they put Bloomberg, they put Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint um bloomberg you know bloomberg is, an, is a trading software they have c plus plus they have java they have advanced application and apps and then interest obviously interest is is, is optional interest is like something that you like to do on the, uh, on your own like a hobby or something you like to do like build computers like in your spare time you play video games um 
Is this something that like make that makes you stand out? So you put something here on the resume that something you do as a hobby, like in my spare time, I do the X, Y, and Z. In my spare time, I, I build computers. In my spare time, I, I, uh, I, I do, I, I help people with their, com I build, I build computers for people. In my spare time, I, I set up, I set up this, I set up X, Y, and Z for somebody, you know, so you put stuff in there that, that obviously is IT related. You put it in there. Um, what else? So co under computer, if I was you on the computer, this is just my recommendation. Obviously you will not put Bloomberg unless you know what Bloomberg is. You will not put C++ unless you know what C++ is. Um, you wouldn't put Java. If you don't know, if you don't know what it is, don't put it in there. Uh, you would put, obviously you will put in here, you'll put server 2016, uh, creating accounts on active directory, uh, password reset, unlocking accounts, disabling accounts, adding people to distribution groups, adding people to security groups, um, also adding Exchange 365 in here as well on their computer. You would add um, troubleshoot, break and fix hardware, hardware peripherals. Uh, you would put uh, supporting, supporting Microsoft Windows applications, such as Adobe Acrobat, um, uh, Creative Cloud, uh, Trouble, uh, troubleshooting Outlook, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Microsoft Office Suite. You will put you will put things like that. Um, troubleshooting video software applications such as uh, Zoom, Skype, um, Teams, Cisco WebEx, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, et cetera. So it, it would be something like that. But this resume is extremely solid. Like it's not a crappy resume. I looked at this. I'm like, huh, this is a really good resume. I like this resume. I think I should, I think I should share this with everyone. So this is a cool resume. So you see, they have the education on the top, their experience uh, uh, towards the second time, second line, and then leadership affiliation and then skills all the way in the bottom. So it's entirely up to you. Some people have this on the top, like towards the second line. So they'll have it over here after education. And then some people have skills and interests all the way in the bottom. So obviously if you have your certifications, you put it in here as well. So it would go under education. You wouldn't put it under skills. So you have like CompTIA plus, you have network plus, you have Microsoft, you will put it over here. So you put certifications in here and then you put a plus network plus CCNA, um, Microsoft Azure, uh, CISSP, uh, CEH, certified ethical hacker, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's basically it. Should be a short video. That's basically, I wanted to share that with you because this is a really cool resume, and I'm like, oh, this is a this is a nice resume. This is a crappy resume. This is pretty good. So this is a resume that I, I it got ten thousand likes on LinkedIn. This is not like a resume that I just took on the fly and made it. This is a resume that has ten thousand likes, and I downloaded the resume because it was it came out as a PDF. I downloaded it and I turned it into a Word uh, document basically. And I'm like, because everyone uses Word, I want really like they use some people. I use PDF, but most people use Word. So. I'm like, we should, we should, I should share this resume with everyone. So someone could have an idea of what their resume should look like. It should be something like this. And this will help you out. All right. And that's it. That's pretty much it for today's video. Nothing complicated, nothing crazy. So just look at the resume, make it fit your resume. Um, obviously, if you're applying for a specific job, put the details, the description based on that job that you're applying for. Otherwise, they will not call you. And you have to make yourself stand out. You know, you put hands on training, you put this and that and that, and that makes sense. All right, that's it. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I hope you guys have a great day. And I should be live at 2 p.m. later today. All right, take care. Peace, later.